What's going on guys? This is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics and as you can see from behind me, there are no comic books on my wall. So in today's video, we're going to be filling it up with some awesome slabs. Let's go. All right, so like I said, we're going to be filling up this comic book wall behind me. In one of my most recent videos, I went over my top 50 slabs in my collection. I got them all down. And uh, there's some books that I've had up there for a while, a lot of keys, a lot of Batman, Spider-Man. Well, in today's video, we're going to be putting up some books up there that have not been up there in a while or just haven't been really been up there at all, including one pretty big book. So let's start off with that. So I can do 10 slabs in each uh, row, unless I do some magazine size slabs, then I think I can do like one less. We're actually going to be doing the magazine size slabs first. Let me go ahead and grab those. This book has been up there for a while, but it's just an awesome book. We have Raphael number one, 9.2, first appearance of Casey Jones, and that uh, sign and sketch by Kevin Eason. That's gonna go up there. We're also gonna have a Team and T number two, uh, first April O'Neill, Mouser, sign and sketch by Kevin Eason again, and a 9.4. This is a number two second printing. This book is the key that I've not put up on the wall yet because it just came back from CGC. Team and T number one, uh, CGC 8.5, sign and sketch again by Kevin Eastman. And we're also gonna put up there a uh, Team and T, Last Ronin number one, second printing, one per store, 9.8, uh, signed by all the creators. I think there's six signatures on these. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that up on the uh, top shelf. Let's go. Okay, uh, that looks pretty good. You're probably wondering why I'm not doing Team and T 1, 2, Raphael, and then The Last Ronin. Well, it's because I kind of like to put books that like kind of go together. And uh, I got some books ready to go here. So we got the uh, Team and T Last Ronin number one right there. Well, we're gonna put right next to it, Team and T Last Ronin Lost Years number one. Virgin cover, 9.8 signed by uh, Aaron Bartling. Awesome cover here. Again, Team and T Last Ronin Lost Years number one. We're gonna put that right next to Team and T The Last Ronin number one right there. Next to that, we're gonna put up another signed book, Team and T Adventures uh, number one, signed by Kevin Eastman, 9.4, first Bebop Rock City and Crane. Next to that, we're gonna put Team and T number 95, 9.8, first Jenica as a turtle. And then next to that is gonna be Team and T 51, 9.8, first Jenica as a character. And then to finish off the Team and T row on the top shelf, we have Team and T Power Rangers, number one, second printing, one of 10. This is the Montez cover and a 9.8 uh, shredder holding the Green Ranger cover. Let's go ahead and put, up, put them up there on the shelf. Okay, uh, that looks pretty good, right? Like we got some Team and T up here. We got uh, six signed Team and T books in a row. We got the one and two next to each other. Going with that uh, uh, Raphael number one. Those three books go great together. We got the last run in next week, next to the last run in Lost Years. And we got six signed books all going together. We got the Jenica books going together. We got a Power Ranger book up there though. Power Rangers Team and Team number one, which kind of talks about what's gonna go on the next shelf. We have some Power Ranger books. I'm a big Power Ranger fan. They've not been up there in a while, and I'm gonna show off what we're gonna put up there. So, we gotta have the original team, right? We gotta have the original team of Power Rangers. But, we gotta start off with, though, Team of T, sorry, not Team of T, Power Rangers, issue zero, the one in 100 White Ranger in a 9.8. That's gonna be the first book over there. Next to that's gonna go the Green Ranger, one of 50, 9.8 for Power Rangers, issue zero and then since you know the green ranger joined the original team next up we're gonna have the original team red ranger nine eight issue zero pink ranger issue zero nine point eight blue ranger issue zero nine point eight yellow ranger issue zero nine point eight and black ranger issue zero nine point eight now that is seven out of the 10 slots up there. So what's gonna go next to those? Well, since we had a Black Ranger cover, well, we're gonna put next to it the Power Rangers issue five, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, 9.8. Awesome cover there. Next to that, 
We're gonna have the Evil Tommy from an alternate universe, issue nine for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 9.8, second printing, first Lord Draken and first cover of Lord Draken as well. And next to that, since this is gonna go with the Power Rangers Team and T above it, we have the Shredder this time holding the Draken helmet for issue zero of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Team and T. Number one, this is the one per store uh, first printing. That's gonna go great with the one per store second printing. Oh, sorry, that's a one of 10 second printing. So that's gonna go great right there. Let's go ahead and put up all of those books. Let's go. Okay guys, uh, I think that's looking pretty good so far. We got some Team and T up there. We got some Power Rangers up there. We got the whole team together, all the 9.8s. We got the ratio covers in there. We got some exclusives in there. Second printings, awesome stuff there. I think it looks really good. Now we have the bottom row to do. So we're gonna start throwing up some Batman. And now you're probably wondering like, yes, I have a ton of Batman books and you guys have seen them all before, right? Well, some of these Batman books you have seen, but you may not have seen in a long time. And uh, you may, I may have not displayed them before. So I wanted to display these. We have a Dark Knights, Death Metal, Legends of the Dark Knight, number one, one in 25, uh, 9.8, first appearance and first cover appearance of the Robin King. That's gonna go up there. Next to that, it's gonna go one of the best Batman story arcs ever. This is the start of that. Batman, sorry, Detective Comics, 871, 9.8. The Black Mirror storyline starts here of Scott Snyder. Pretty good. We have a first appearance here. Uh, this is a cameo appearance. Uh, punchline, Batman 89 from the current series in a 9.8. Matina variant. I love Matina artwork, even though some others don't. This is a pretty cool cover. Batman number 99. 1 of 25, Jimenez cover, 9.8. Pretty awesome, beautiful cover there. Now this book will look so much better than a 9.8. I thought it would come back a 9.8. Unfortunately, it came back a 9.2. Detective Comics, 1000. Art Germ cover, 9.2. That is a pretty sick cover. And again, I thought it would come back a 9.8, but somehow it came back a 9.2. We're going to put that over there right now. Okay, so I decided to put the Detective Comics books together there, and then the current series of Batman books, Batman 89 and 99 together, and then finish off over there with Dark Knight, Death Metal, Legends of the Dark Knight, number one, one in 25, first Robin King, first cover Robin King. I decided to put that at the end. Now we have five more slots that we can put slab comics. Now, I do have some books ready. Some of these books you've probably seen, some of them you may not have. And this is just an awesome cover, and I wanted to display it. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 8, the 1 of 25 Zord cover by Gani Montez of the Megazord. Awesome cover. Next to that, this is a AOK -okay from my good friend D Rock Comics. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 1, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. My cat is trying to get in the door. This one is an A-OK -okay as well. This is from my good friend Carlito Classico. He also got me the uh, Detective Comics 1000. This is Power Rangers Draken New Dawn issue one. This is the uh, Clayton Crane cover. And I got it signed in person by Clayton Crane and an Infinity Signature 9.8. Got a signature book there. This one is special to me. Very, very, very special. This is Mighty Morphin number four. Burke Fam exclusive signed by me in a 9.8, hashtag Burke Fam. We're gonna put that up there and to finish off the rest of the Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin number six, Green Ranger um, sketch cover done by my good friend, Austin LeMay in a 9.8. So I, even though we already have Power Ranger books up there, I, I felt like putting up some more that have been sitting in the boxes for a while and I felt like they deserve some love on the comic book wall. Let's put them up there. Okay, so we got the books up there. I put the uh, Megazord cover next to the Green Ranger with the Dragonzord next to it. I felt like those books go great together. 
And then I decided to put the uh, sign books all together, including the two Green Ranger covers together. So this is a comic book wall. I'm sure I'm trying to throw up a video of it right now, showing the whole wall a little bit closer. I think it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, it's been a minute since some of these books have been on the wall. It's the first time for some of these books, like that, that uh, Tina T number one. Um, it, it feels really good to display some books that just haven't been up there and they deserve some love because I spent some money on them and they look just really awesome. There's a ton of variants up there and I don't typically display a ton of variants. I like to display keys. Uh, but again, I like these books just as much uh, as some of my keys. So they look pretty great on the wall. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So again, I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know in the comment section which book is your favorite. Let me know what you guys think of the comic book wall. All that and more. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, go cats. Cowabunga. It's orphan time. Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $12 by using Eric from comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier of book and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 to get free shipping back to you on your first order. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram.